Imeshi be imnandi abo. Godwa before ibe mnandi nami ngifuna umuntu engizolwa naye. Ngaba ngukuthi ukhesi buye washa ukuthi ngifuna umuntu angikho mkhulu ngale wondlela ukuthi ngengithola umuntu engizolwa naye. Ngiyamfuna umuntu engizolwa naye. Hello, hello, hi guys, welcome to the broadcast. Today, as you all know, this is what's trending, Casper Nyovest and Nag Music Fight. Guys, let's talk about Big Zulu for a second. Big Zulu, after the match, he goes onto the ring, he says he's ready to fight. But Siv Ngese has already challenged him. So what's that all about? Casper loses the fight, and I want to tell you why. Guys, you cannot be a jack of all trades. Focus on one thing. And this has been proven through in this fight. Casper Nyovest loses the fight. Listen, kudos to Casper Nyovest. He's done very well to put this together. It is looking good. I mean, all the sponsorships, Hollywood Bad, Super Sport, Channel O. The guy has really done well. We have to congratulate him. But if we're going to talk about the boxing match, it's a whole new story altogether. It is not an easy task to get sponsorship, to get broadcasters, to get everything. It is not an easy task. And if you're the sole decision maker, you're the promoter, you're the marketer, you're handling PR, you are employing people, and then you still have to train. Come on, guys. Anyways, we're going to break down the fight now. I mean, we also, when the fight started, Casper Nervous was really putting pressure on Nak music. And this to me is, is really interesting because at some point we really, really felt like Casper was 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 just going to dominate this fight and Nag Music was going to be a walkover. But let's leave Casper for a moment. Let's talk about Nag Music. You see, guys, if you've been around for a while and you've seen these guys move on TV and media platform, Nag Music is not the loud type. And Nag Music is pretty chill, pretty humble kind of guy. And I remember Nag Music being part of Tropical Island of Treasure. He looks big, right? He looks quite sporty because of his body and his muscles. But on the show, the guy was really struggling. He was really struggling from beginning to end. Um, but he was very consistent. And you know what, guys? He ended up winning the show, him and the guy he was partners with. And let me tell you what I think. Nak music is very dangerous because of that reason. He's an underdog who is focused. He's an underdog who is determined. He's an underdog who will see things through. I saw this, guys. I saw this on Tropical Island of Treasure because the guys were overlooked. The guys kept on losing challenges, but they, they kept on moving forward. And eventually they won. They won against the favorite. And isn't this true for the this fight again? I mean, we saw how Casper Nyovest was moving, how Casper Nyovest was talking, how Casper Nyovest was saying he's going to win the fight. But at the end of the day, it is the point that counts. And this is what I want to tell people. A lot of us don't know much about boxing. Not even I, but I've been exposed to a fair amount of boxing matches. And I've been around people who've played boxing and, and talk about those things. And let me tell you something. It is not about how many punches you threw. It is about how many punches landed. A lot of you are feeling now... Casper Nervous was outdone. The fight may have been judged unfairly. We don't know that, guys. I mean, let's leave it to the professionals. But one thing I'll tell you, in a boxing match, it's not how many punches you're throwing. It's how many punches landed clean. Clean punches that landed. And Casper Nervous has lost the fight. And let me tell you why he's lost the fight. Besides the fact that he was the promoter, he was handling everything, and he's done well to get it to this far. I mean, congratulations, Casper. But on the day, right at the end, he even confesses that he didn't see Nak music. Shout out to Nak music. He really, really came. He brought it. Uh, I didn't expect that from him. Big shout out to my coaches. You will never do that. You never go to a fight underestimating your opponent. You never do that. Who does that? I mean, what kind of training? He was pumped. He was too pumped. And he gave his all on the first round. Because I think in his head, he's Iron Mike Tyson, right? That's what he's even tattooed on his arm. 
That's what Mark Tyson would do. But Mark Tyson has had years and years of practice, years and years of training, years and years of conditioning to do that, to go into the boxing ring, to completely attack and dominate your opponent on the first round and, and be successful at it. And if you're not, to continue staying and keeping the gas. But Casper Nevis could not maintain that kind of intensity because it all happened in his head, right? He thought he was going to get out there and I'll try and, you see, you cannot be a performer in a boxing ring. Casper Nieves was a performer. He was performing for the crowd. He was fighting for the crowd. He, that's his mentality. He's an entertainer. He goes out there. He wants to sh kill the show. But the show does not fight back. Nak music was fighting back. Unlike going on stage and saying, I'm going to kill the show. That was not a, a, a singer's performance. That was a fight. That was somebody punching back when you punch. And that was somebody trying to absorb the punches. You see, at a whole different stage together. The... I don't think Casper Nieves conditioning was good. I don't think they conditioned good. Or because of his confidence, he wasn't listening when he was being conditioned. Also, you cannot have your fans train you because they look up to you. They look up to you. They, they, they admire you. So they can't correct you. They can't see your flaws. Or even they do, they are scared to tell you straight up because you're a celebrity. You, you're, you, you're a role model to them. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm out. <laughs>